An app developer reached out to me to check out an app he is newly made called the Anti-Intruder Security System. It's basically an app that allows your phone to be your intruder alarm. It uses sensors on your phone to detect any movement and sound an alarm so you can know that someone has touched your phone or your properties. There is a giveaway on this video too, so along the video you will see coupon codes floating on the screen. There will be 10 of them which will give you access to the pro version. We'll talk about how to redeem them at the end. I think you already know how to redeem those from the Play Store. But let's see how well this app works. It even has a security camera feature so it can take a selfie of a person who triggers the alarm and the pro version even sends you email updates along with that photo saying like ayo some dusty ass bum ran through your shit and here's their photo. They just got caught in 4k. So there are no ads which is great even on the free version. So just some basic disclaimers that this is not like an ultra serious app. It's just a cool useful novelty for your additional phone or your main device too when you're not using it. There's even a helpful video that walks through all the steps so you can easily understand. It prompts you to disable battery optimization so you can do that so that this app doesn't close in the background. For Android 10 and above you have to enable the always on top meaning that it can draw over other apps. Pretty simple to do. It depends on your phone but basically we'll find it under permissions. And there you go, let's enable camera and also give it storage permission so it can save that selfie. And you can set the alarm tone from the top option. By default, it's set to maximum. I'll set it to like six or seven so I don't blast my ears during testing. So you have to touch this, you know, shield with a fingerprint thing to activate it. When you're setting it up for the first time, it asks you for the pin. It's a four digit pin which you use to disable the alarm. And once you touch that fingerprint icon, within five seconds, it will be enabled. And once it says activated, you can close your screen, you can, you know, put it to sleep or navigate away from it. That app will be running in the background. So you can essentially enable this and you can go to sleep or something if you're worried that someone will take your phone. As soon as it detects movement, it'll sound that alarm and uh, the only way to disable that alarm is by using your pin and yes it even captures a selfie from the front facing camera so you can kind of see who that was i noticed that it's not very sensitive you know it can kind of tap around a little bit and it doesn't immediately trigger so here's a hypothetical scenario you know there's a box an important package which i don't want anyone to touch so i'll keep my phone on it with the you know alarm activated now yeah i mean it does work really well when the phone is you know shaking from side to side but I tried to kind of sneak past the alarm by gently moving the phone to the side without triggering it and I was able to do it. But here's the thing, I knew that there is an alarm, right? I knew that the phone would like make a sound if it's shaken. That's why I was extra careful. If you like sleep the screen, if it's just a black screen phone on a box, no one would suspect that there's an alarm on it. And yes, I even enabled the battery optimization thing. So it's not that, it's just the sensitivity of the app. But it does indeed work. Like as soon as you tilt the phone from side to side, it immediately fires up the alarm and takes a picture. I tried it with my newer phones too, and it was the same thing. It doesn't really respond well to up and down movement. Like you can lift the phone carefully and keep it to the side. It doesn't really trigger it. But as soon as it's shaken, yeah, it, it sounds the alarm. So my note to the developer would be, Ashish, um, you need to increase the sensitivity for the vertical, you know, Z-axis movement. It triggers left and right really well, but uh, up and down, uh, people can gently lift the phone without wiggling it and keep it to the side and get away with it. I tried a similar application with a desk drawer. You know, if you enable the, the alarm and keep it in your drawer, even if you like move the drawer, it doesn't really trigger the alarm. The phone has to physically slide around for it to trigger that application. So yeah, I mean, the sensitivity could be improved a bit. But honestly, it's still a fun app, you know, a really good first attempt. Anything can be improved after the first attempt once you find out what the drawbacks are. And well, these are the drawbacks. And also, I would suggest that if there's a setting to like manually set the sensitivity so that users can pick how sensitive they want their phone alarm to be, I think that'll be useful too. You know, if I want something to be hypersensitive, I can keep it to the maximum. Or if I want it to be a little bit more forgiving, I can keep it on the minimum side. So if there's a sensitivity slider in the setting, that'll be really useful. And as I said, you can claim a pro version for free by using those codes which you may have seen in the video. Here's how you claim it. I'll leave links to both the free and the paid version in the description. Go to the paid versions link, grab a glass and pour yourself some water and drink it because clearly we are not drinking enough water. Once you're fresh, now you can click on buy and select a payment method. Don't worry, you don't have to pay and you will see an option called redeem code at the end. Simply click on that option and enter the code you saw on the screen and that's it, redeem it. It will then start downloading the pro version where you'll have access to high quality pictures and the email alerts. So yeah, that was the anti-intruder system, a really good way of repurposing your main phone or even a secondary phone 
as a you know an intruder detection alarm thing the user experience is really good you know it's really clean easy to use no ads if the sensitivity is increased a bit this will be nice so even if all the paid licenses are already used by the time you're watching this you can still download and use the free version the links in the description as i mentioned it's a very functional app well done